Welcome back to question three of the series where we find the equilibrium constants from experimental concentration measurements. Question three reads, consider the following reaction. We have two CH4 and this produces C2H2 and three molecules of H2. A reaction mixture at 1700 Celsius initially contains a concentration of CH4 of 0.115 molars. At equilibrium, the mixture contains a concentration of C2H2 of 0.035 molar. What is the value of the equilibrium constant? The first thing that we want to do is make sure that the equation is balanced and it appears to be balanced. Next, let's create an equilibrium expression. So we'll write down K is equal to the concentration of the products over the concentration of the reactants. So we have C2H2, its concentration, multiply to H2, and that's being raised to the power of 3 because of this coefficient. And that is being divided by CH4, its concentration, raised to the power of 2. Next, I'll create an ice chart to represent my information. So I'll rewrite the expression CH4, C2H2, and lastly, hydrogen gas. And let's see what we've been given. We're told that initially we have... 0.115 of this chemical and at equilibrium the mixture contains so over here at equilibrium is 0 0.035 so we already technically have this part and we can replace it with what it is 0 0.035 we still need to find this and that because these are the products of our reaction, we can assume that there's nothing made initially. So before the reaction even occurs, there's no product. So we use zero and zero. Now we use the formula in one of our previous videos where C is equal to E minus I. And we can actually use this now to find out the C row of our ice table. So let's go ahead and find C of this column. I'll substitute E with 0 0.035 minus the initial of 0, and the change is 0 0.035. So I'll place that right there. And now I can use that to find out the changes in the other molecules. So there's a 1 to 3 ratio here. So we'll multiply this number by 3 to give us the change for H2. Using our calculator, 0 0.035 times 3 is 0 0.105, 0 0.105. And using this to find the change for CH4, remember this is a product and that's a reactant, so whatever we get, we multiply by negative one. There's a one to two ratio, so we multiply this by two, 0 0.035 times two gives us this number, we multiply by negative one, we end up with 0 0.07. You only do that if you're comparing products and reactants, or vice versa, reactants and products. Now we can find out the equilibrium concentrations. Using this formula again, we have C is equal to E minus I. I will bring this I over, where we have C plus I is equal to E. So C, the change is 0 0.105 plus 0 is 0 0.105. That's the equilibrium concentration. And over here, if I add up C and 0 0.115, let's use our calculator, negative 0 0.07 plus 0 0.115 gives us 0 0.045. Let's go ahead and substitute those numbers into our equilibrium concentration. This part gets replaced with 0 0.045 raised to the power of 2. And this gets replaced, H2, with 0 0.105 raised to the power of 3. We have at the top 0 0.035 times 0 0.105. And that needs to be raised to the power of 3. Now we divide that number by 0 0.045 raised to the power of 2. And we're left with 0 0.02. And we need this to two significant figures. So we have 2.0 times 10 to the power of negative 2 is our equilibrium constant. 
If you'd like to see the answer to question four, make sure that you watch question four of this series where the solution is covered. We'll see you soon.